Now we're going to add a second picker to our form, but this time we want something slightly different, a segmented control. This is a specialized kind of picker that shows a handful of options in a horizontal list, and it works great when you only have a handful of options to choose from. Now our form already has two sections, at the top, one for the amount of the check and number of people, and at the bottom, what is showing check amount. We'll change it later on. In the middle of these two, I'd like you to add a third section right here in our code. And this will have another picker to select a tip percentage. So we'll say there's a picker with a title tip percentage with a selection bound to dollar tip percentage. Inside there, we'll do a for each so we can loop over every item in our tip percentages array using id backslash dot self, which again means each of our numbers are unique, so identify them by that. Inside there, we'll convert each number to be a text view using the format of percent. So it'll be 20%, 50%, 100%, whatever. And you can see already it has a single row in there with 20% selected right now. If you want to try it out, you'll see it follows the same behavior as number of people. I can go ahead and select this field here, and it'll slide in a new screen. I'll choose 15, and boom, it changes. Here, though, I want to show you how to use a segmented control, because I think it looks much better here. So what you want to do is add this modifier to the picker, just say dot picker style dot segmented, like that. Now that tiny change in the preview, you should see it snap into a segmented control like that. It looks much, much nicer. So now things I think are coming together. Users can go ahead and enter the amount on their check. I could say, I want to pay, or I need to pay, sorry, not how much you want. I'll pay uh, 50 and there were six of us and I wanna leave a 25% tip. We're getting there, but things aren't quite what you might think because one common problem we face as app developers is we kind of take for granted that our app design works the way we plan, right? It, we know what it does. We, we solve this problem in a particular way, therefore we know what everything does. But try and look at your UI with a fresh set of eyes. Amount, fine, 50 bucks, straightforward. Number of people, yep, easy. Percentages, eh, what does this do? Not really sure. And this thing will show the final per person amount. But what does this thing in the middle do? It doesn't really make sense. 10% of, of, of what? Now, we could fix this by adding a text view into the section, clarifying what these options actually mean. We could say, uh, before the picker, text, uh, let's do how much tip do you want to leave? Like that. And that works, I mean, it's okay. Not gonna set the world on fire, um, but it works. It's also, if you look really carefully, there's a little dividing line here, which is a little bit ugly, but you know, it works. A better idea is to modify the section itself because SwiftUI lets us add section headers and footers, which in this case means we can add a little, little explanatory prompt to the section. And so if we take this text view out of inside the section, we can then use multiple trailing closures. Here's our first trailing closure, what's in the section. Below that I'll say, there's a header trailing closure, closure sorry, containing some text to display. And that will be used to place above the section starting, like this right here. So it's more clear what that does. It is a tiny, tiny change, I think, but the end result, I think, looks a lot better. That text now looks like a prompt for the segmented control coming directly below. 